Hi guys, Mark here on Celtic Crossbows. Since we last seen it in uh, part three of uh, stripping the material down, we ended up with a bay metal frame of the commando crossbow in this sort of condition. I bring it to the camera. It looks like you got some sort of cancer to the metal and pretty much destroyed. I got a pretty much a tumultuous month myself. But um, I've started back to work on the commando. So this is the other side, as you can see now. You can see where the water ingress has damaged the action of the commando. But this side, I spent the last few days, so I done half and half, as you can see, of sanding and filing and cleaning up the metalwork. So you see now how smooth and shiny she is on this side compared to this side. So I've got a couple of more days yet of polishing and cleaning the metalwork. Um, and this can't be a super smooth finish, it was a smooth finish. Um, the, uh, the final top coat that will not take, or the inner coat. So you can see where we are now, so I've got to continue sanding to bring it back down into a finished state. So as we take off the top layer of oxide here now, you see underneath, it's a black mark. Those black marks can't get to burn out in one spot. You have to keep the, the tool going and even as the material you maneuver, all over the crossbow. If you don't, this is what can happen. This was done originally at the factory, so it shows up, which is quite handy for me. You can see where more material has been removed from the left than from the right. So what I gotta try and do now is balance this up so it's a nice smooth continuous radius all the way across. Okay guys, that was about um, two hours of sanding and getting it all down. So this is the almost finished now main frame. I'm going to get some of the little corners now with a small file or so emery and places where I couldn't get to with the Dremel, like inside the riser. So that's got to be um, the next job now is clean out inside the riser and nooks and crannies where I couldn't get to with the Dremel. That's going to take me quite a bit of time. Okay folks, that's the majority of me done for the night. As with two hours of filing, that's what I'm going to do tonight. You can see now, how she's starting to come back together. She's starting to come really nice. I've got a little bit more filing to do on the stock. And the fine areas on you. Now you can see I'm completely covered now in aluminium filings. So I'm going to need a good shower to get off all of my hair and everything. Not something I advise doing in your kitchen, but if you need a, a high metal diet, diet, I do strongly advise it. Right then, back in the tick, tomorrow night, I'll get over the buttock and the um, scope mounting block. For your eyes only, darling.